Thirty seconds, studio. Twenty-five, nearest and dearest, P584, stroke program number 22, part one, take one. Edited copy. it, Eli. I buy pledges, lock, stock and pickle barrel and flatten it. Aye. Uh, then you put up one of those big blocks of shops and offices that nobody wants. Leonard, you're a visionary. Well, that seems to copper button it. Uh, not quite. Oh, how do you mean? You'll have to copper our Nellie's bottom first. Your Nellie? Who the hell's she? She's my sister. Oh. She owns half of pledges pickles, you know. You'll have to get her signature on that as well. Well, that's no problem, is it? Ah, it is. She doesn't trust me. She's not daft. No, you'll have to do a big persuasion job on her. Use all your charm. Now, look, Eli, if you want that money, you must get her signature. I've no time or patience for mucking about with women. To tell you the truth, women don't seem to find me attractive. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I think our Nelly might find you attractive. Oh, you do, Eli. Mm. What is she like, your Nelly? Well, now, let me see. How can I put it? She's got all that Rattle Welsh has got. But it's put together a bit different. <laughs> oh, well, let me see. I think I could put uh, 100 offices up on that site. 10 pounds a week each office, plus ground rent. Uh, I suppose I might have a bash at her. Hey, Alan, who said you couldn't be romantic if you tried? Mm. <laughs> now, look, she's going to a wedding tomorrow. And that's the best time to meet her, because weddings get her going. Oh, where to? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if I play my cards right, you'd have our Nelly in the palm of your hand. And I've had your money in the palm of mine. Oh, I love weddings. It brings me all out in goose pimples inside. Mm. <laughs> when we were in that church, it took me back to my happy day. What do you mean? When you walked down the aisle with Walter under your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I hit you with that confetti. Anyway, when the bride and groom went past, he was soon on his feet again. <laughs> oh, the bridegroom picked him up, you know. He mm. fine strapping lad, weren't he? Yes. And we were just uh, saying, Stan, this must be a happy day for you, you know. Seeing your little granddaughter tying the knot in it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's made me very happy. Her getting wed to grandson of me old mate, Grenville. Yeah. Uniting two great families. Yes, oh, she looked lovely. I say, she made a lovely bride. <laughs> Two years in that pickle shed, she was taking a bit of chance, were doing white, weren't she? <laughs> Thought the same myself. Well, I'm not one for saying much, but uh, when she said I do, four fellows in front of me said, here, here. <laughs> Good old friend. All right. Hey, Eli, is that your Nelly? Mm, no, not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, uh, definitely. But does your Nelly look like her? No, not really. She looks more like that. And who the bloody hell's that? <laughs> That's our Nelly. Oh. Aren't you going to go over and say hello? Oh, I think I'll say goodbye. No, don't go, Leonard. Hey, like. What are you doing? You stood standing over here inhaling us. No, no, I'm just coming in there in a minute, but I want to meet a friend of mine, Leonard Longbottom, meet Nelly Shorthouse. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, no. You haven't had the pleasure of me yet, have you? <laughs> no, well, give him time. Why don't you come uh, bring him into the other room, you know, with us? Bring Mr Long John in there, because uh, we're having a good time. Uh, well, do you do a turn, uh, Mr Rockbottom? Well, I've done a bit. Done a bit. <laughs> Leonard, don't be so modest. Did the Maid of the Mountains at Accrington. <laughs> Twice nightly, got a standing ovation. 
How very fertile of you. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you come in the other room, eh? Tell me, do you know the jewel song from Soust? <laughs> it goes, when you hear me call you. When you were sweet, when you were sweet, Caesar, Very good. Oh. You can't beat a bit of good singing, can you? <laughs> What's up with you, Awinelli? I'm just thinking about that bride, how lovely she looked with that lovely satin dress on. With that embroidery and hanging lazy down there, you know. And, you know, at her waist where she had that bunch of enemas and a uh, <laughs> little puff on each shoulder. Aye, and a big, big puff on her arm. <laughs> Ask Doris, please. Hey, is it that time already? I think we'd best be going. Are you not going to have another one? Well, well you best not, you know, because it's, uh, it's a long journey, you know, on that bus. Have you been? It's a long journey on that bus in the cold, you know. I think he's been. Come on, Walter, love. Try on her leg. Good night, then. Good night. Ta-da. Well, I'd better get him in, then. What would you like? Uh, well, no, thanks for me. I'd be up and down all night. I'll have another pint. Hey, up. I want to tell you something about him. Yeah? I think you've tickled his fancy. Oh, how real I... <laughs> I never have. You've got him going in the okey-cokey. What, do you mean where you take your whole self in and shake it all about? <laughs> Why do you think you was all hot and bothered in the ladies' excuse me? I didn't dare to think. Hey, oh, he's here, he's here. <laughs> oh, well, good health, brother. Good, okay. I'll just go over and see how Stan and Grenville are getting on. Yes, I'll come with you. No, no, don't bother. Um, it's no bother. Sit down, you daft tater. I mean, I oh, know. <laughs> uh, you sit down, too, ladies. Make oh. yourself at home, though. Order the chat. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grand weather for this time of the year. Yes. Bit changeable, though. Yes, for this time of the year. It's the wind that does it. Oh, it goes right through you, doesn't it? You know, you don't know what to leave off. No, you please. don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying before I set off, I was saying, I said, it'll either rain or go dark before morning. <laughs> Myself, I always say, while there's snow by wall, more will fall. But there's no snow bit wall. Oh, but if there were... Uh, you'd say it then. Uh. Uh, I'm telling you, if that lad lays his book, he's, he's one finger on that little girl. My little girl, what about we stop me <laughs> Stan, Stan, are you all right? Uh, will I open his collar? No, open his wallet. It's just down to bloody bed. <laughs> I say, <suppose> Rosie. It... <laughs> no, you stay. No, no, ladies first, you say. Oh, oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Neither do I. Oh, yes, I do, yes, I do. I was thinking about that bride and that groom, you know, and their lovely day. I suppose you've had your nuptials attended to a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, you mean got wed? No, not me. Never found time for courting. Oh, so there's no Mrs. Longbottom then? No little Longbottom in short pants? <laughs> so you'll be one of what they call those illegitimate bachelors, eh? <laughs> Some enchanted evening, you will see a stranger. <laughs> Across a crowded saloon. <laughs> Morning, Dad. <laughs> Swipe your nose for you. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> well, that reminds me, I'll have to get a new fly spray. Oh, oh you got home, have you? You did bl your big blouse? What's the idea, leaving me to my own vices? It, it, it was a good thing that Leonard was there to deport me home. Uh, did you ask him in? Of course I asked him in. Couldn't even stood standing at the door cutter in the pouring rain with two bundles of chips under his waistcoat. <laughs> we were here till about three... Oh, I must get a little hand put on this one. <laughs> and what did you two get up to then? Oh, this and that. <laughs> what about the other? <laughs> <laughs> we 
What are you trying to incinerate? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, did he, uh, did he uh, sort of raise anything? <laughs> mm. Well, did he show you anything that might affect your future? <laughs> what are you trying to get at? What I'm trying to get at is, did he get at anything? <laughs> he did not get at anything. And if he had tried to get at anything, he would have not got at anything he was trying to get at. <laughs> Steve, I may say, call me on me. I wonder if he suggested that she signed that contract. He must have done. He wouldn't have wasted all those chips. <laughs> oh, are you there, Miss Pledge? Oh, Leonard, lad, come in, come in. Have you got me money? What money? Money for this dump. I mean, this highly desirable commercial property. I mean, you were here long enough with the last night. Did you pull anything off? No, Eli. I want more than this building. I want your Nelly thrown in. Thrown in what? <laughs> no, I mean, you don't want to go as far as... Yes, Eli. Last evening, when I sat with your Nelly here in this very room, I got a feeling I've never had before. Really? Yeah. It touched my soft spot, I can tell you. <laughs> I've been meaning to get that spring fixed in that bloody settee. <laughs> no, 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 no. Have you no bloody heart? I want your Nelly's hand in marriage. You, you don't have to go as far as that. Oh, yes, I do, Eli. It's serious. Ah, oh, well, it's, it's probably the best way to get a signature on that contract. And when all's said and done, if you get fed up with her, you can always take her to a wife-swapping club and trade her in. <laughs> but what the hell you get in exchange, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Leonard, <laughs> fast to seeing you again so soon. How do, Miss Wedge? I was just passing. Oh, yes, I was just, thank you. I was just passing, you, but no, I was just uh, dusting with my feather. I mean, feathering with my... <laughs> it's no use you stood standing there, is it? Uh, pardon me. Why, what have you done? <laughs> Cheer up, you. Uh, let's uh, go over here, shall we? Into the other room. You know, it's just across the hall. And we can be more intimate there, you know? <laughs> on our own, by ourselves, with nobody with us. And we can continue to commence to take off where we left off last night. Sugar for you, isn't it, Lily? Mm. Yes, well, that's how it is, so what do you think, eh? Well, if you've been knocking about with him for a few weeks, you ought to know if you're in love with him or not. Well, I think I am. Every time I see him, he gives me a feeling. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm nosy in too far, but is it the first time you've ever had it? <laughs> oh, no, I've had it before. <laughs> Who did you get it off? <laughs> that uh, Christopher Plummer in The Sound of Music. <laughs> well, Leonard doesn't favour him. Oh, I think he does. Oh, I mean, when he sings that song, uh, Idle Swine. <laughs> Are you quite sure he's not just mucking about with you? Oh. I don't think Leonard would trifle with my infections. <laughs> I don't want to pry, love, but, you know, to put it in a nice way, has he ever done out? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know. I don't know. <laughs> well, if you don't know, I can't tell you. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, he did hold me hand and breathe heavy in the Odeon. <laughs> Mind you, those steps were a bit too much for me as well. So, we might be having another wedding in family, might we? Well, who's to say? I mean, no use rushing into things, but... Uh, but what, Nelly, love? I'm up and flaming, ask me. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard... Uh... When are you going to pop the question to our Nelly so I can live happily ever after? Well, the problem is, Eli, when I get her in the mood and look into her eyes, I get the jitters. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> when I look in, the eye, in her eyes, I get the shudders. <laughs> you wouldn't like me to ask her for you, would you? Oh, would you? Well, 
No, come on now. I mean, it's easy now. I'll show you how. Uh, ask me. Go on. Yeah, I don't want to marry you. No, no, no. I mean, pretend that I'm our Nelly and you, well, you're you. Now, uh, she sat on the settee, titivating, and her hand starts to come across the settee towards you and takes yours. Now, what do you say? I don't know, Eli, but you are getting me bloody worried. <laughs> Look, there's no woman safe from you. You sat on the settee with her. Got all of her hand. You're gazing deep into her eyes. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> now, what's the first thing you say to her? Uh, <coughs> Grand weather for this time of the year. <laughs> You're supposed to be proposing to her, Leonard. You sound like Eddie Waring doing a commentary on Leeds and bloody Castleford. Oh, I'm sorry, Eli. But it's always the same. I'm hopeless at it. I may as well give up. Oh, no, don't give up. No, there's something very exquisite at stake here. Um, hey, you are Nelly. No, my bloody money. <laughs> now, look, you're taking her out tonight, aren't you? Aye. Where are you taking her to? Well, to the Golden Horseshoe and Gas Street. The very place. Good food, good wine, sweet music. And I think they've got topless waitresses. <laughs> oh, but it'll be no good, Eli. I'll only muck up what I have to say. Not to find there to help you. Why, you'll come out with Melly and me. Oh, no, no. Three's a crowd. And in fact, in our novice case, one's a crowd. No, but there may be a way that I can help you to crack it. Now, it's a very expensive place, that. You'll stand me a good nosh, will you? Anything, Eli, anything. Don't worry, then. If you're willing to pay, love will find a way. <laughs> Would sir care for petit pois? You are. It's the French for pea, sir. Oh, no, I, I had one before I come out. <laughs> You'd like to leave your coat, Nelly, love? Oh, no, I don't want to leave my coat. Somebody might pinch it. <laughs> There's me, up. Thank you. Uh, this is the table I wanted. You're lucky to get it, I can tell you. I had to turn away three Manchester United players. <laughs> oh, thank you, very glad. I'm glad you brought me here, Leonard. It's lovely. I think this place has got an effluvia all its own. Will Madam sit there? Will she help? Oh, I'm so sorry, Nelly. But you'll be in a draft if you sit over there. There is no draft in here, sir. Yes, there is. It's coming from your gob. <laughs> you'll be more comfy over there, Nelly. Thank you, Fanny Craddock. <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's better as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's nice uh, to have somebody else do the cooking, isn't it? <laughs> Quite so, madam. Thank you. Oh, what a big program. <laughs> I couldn't eat all this. Haven't you got something smaller? That's the a la carte, madam. We don't have no table d'hote here. Oh, but you can't have everything, can you? For a kick-off, we'll have some champagne. Oh, yes. The best you've got, nice and cold. I'll put it in a bucket right away, sir. You know what? <laughs> I'm not drinking champagne out of a bucket. It's an ice bucket, madam. I don't care whether it's a nice bucket or not. I'd rather have it out of a glass, if you don't mind. Uh, Nelly, why don't you study what you're going to have? Um... Well, I am studying, but it's all in French. It's in English underneath. <laughs> oh, I'm a fool. <laughs> I didn't see the subtitles. <laughs> well, you know, it'd have to be in English for the cook to know what he was doing. <laughs> Are you there, Eli? What's that, Leonard? <laughs> oh, nothing, Nelly Love. <laughs> well, I bloody never. <laughs> Now, I'm here. Don't worry, don't rush things. Wait to ask her when you get to the pudding. <laughs> oh, if I'd have eaten any more, I, I, I'd have had to loosen me shoelaces. <laughs> if I'd have had any shoelaces on. <laughs> We have our trifles yet, Nelly. Oh, yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah, so I love that flaming stuff. Yeah? You know, where he set fire to it, you know, that flamboyant. 
All right, Flumby. Yeah, yo, wasn't it good, you know, the way he brought his little uh, frying pan and then his little stove and he cooked it right here on the edge of the table? Mind you, with the prices they charge, you'd think they could afford a kitchen. <laughs> Are you receiving me, Leonard? Over. Yes, Eli. Repeat everything I say. <coughs> what the hell do you want now? What the hell do you want now? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nelly. Would you like a little more champagne? <laughs> Would you do me a favour, sir? You see, there's this man who's being very persistent. Oh, I? And you've got the only seat in the place that's not spoken for. Oh, yeah? Yes, that one there, so you won't mind... Oh, hang about. Will... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Champagne goes all bubbly up your nose and into your head, doesn't it? Now I know why you men give us women champagne to make us completely uninhabited. <laughs> Speak up, will you? I said that's why you give us something <laughs> to get us going. Oh, no, you mustn't go yet. Okay. I've something to tell you, oh. I think. Well, what is it then? Uh, uh, What's the matter with you, Leonard? Uh, Has the champagne took you over? <laughs> what are you going like that for? You're going all of a, a tremble. I'm all right, Nelly. Oh, come on, say what you were going to say. <laughs> what, what I was going to say, Nelly, was that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Grand weather for this time of the year. <laughs> I've got something very important to say to you, darling. I have something very important to say to you. Uh, 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 Darling. <laughs> Darling. Oh, Leonard, what next? <laughs> I wish I bloody knew. <laughs> I've thought of nobody else ever since I saw you. Ever since I saw you, I've thought of somebody else. <laughs> nobody else. Oh, a correction, nobody else. Oh, oh Leonard Longbottom. I'm overcome with emotion. Where's my handbag? You are my destiny. Eh? You are my destiny. <laughs> What's that? You are my bloody destiny. I'm your bloody what? <laughs> oh, to hell with this. It's no good beating about the bush. Nelly, I want you to marry me. Oh, I don't know what to say. Yes. <laughs> I want to take you to our little love nest, what I've built for us, up in Moors. Oh, I don't like it up in Moors. Couldn't you come and live down at the pickle factory with me? Hey, see, the thing is, Nelly, I want to pull them down. <laughs> what? Uh, when I make up my mind, I like to get on with it. I tell you, I want to pull them down. Don't be so cheeky, we're not wed yet. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean the pickle works. I want to pull them down and build a nice big building with shops and offices. What do you say to that? Not flaming likely. Why the hell not? You <laughs> like plates. What the hell are you doing here? I'm playing Cupid, stupid. Go on, you'll never get a better offer. Marry him and let him pull that dump down we're living. Pull that place down where we have pickled since time immoral? <laughs> Nelly, I'll call the new building Pickler's Plaza. Or even Pickerlily Precinct. I knew there was something wrong with this flaming courtship. Well, what do you expect, you daft old trout? Marry him and give him the works. Marry him never. I'll give him the works, all right. You've trifled with my emotions. Now I'll trifle with yours. Oh. I'm yours. <laughs>
30 seconds, studio. Twenty-five, nearest and dearest, P584, stroke program number 22, part one, take one. Edited copy. That's it, Eli. I buy pledges, lock, stock, and pickle barrel, and flatten it. Aye. Uh, then you put up one of those big blocks of shops and offices that nobody wants. Leonard, you're a visionary. Well, that seems to copper button it. Uh, not quite. Oh, how do you mean? You'll have to copper our uh, Nelly's bottom first. Your Nelly? Who the hell's she? She's my sister. Oh. She owns half of pledges pickles, you know. You'll have to get her signature on that as well. Well, that's no problem, is it? Ah, it is. She doesn't trust me. She's not daft. No, you'll have to do a big persuasion job on her. Use all your charm. Now, look, Eli, if you want that money, you must get her signature. I've no time or patience for mucking about with women. To tell you the truth, women don't seem to find me attractive. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I think our Nelly might find you attractive. Oh, you do, Eli. Mm. What is she like, your Nelly? Oh, well, let me see. How can I put it? She's got all that Rattlewell she's got, but it's put together a bit different. <laughs> oh, well, let me see. I think I could put uh, 100 offices up on that site, 10 pounds a week each office, plus ground rent. Uh, I suppose I might have a bash at her. Hey, Alan, who said you couldn't be romantic if you tried? <laughs> mm. Now, look, she's going to a wedding tomorrow, and that's the best time to meet her, because weddings get her going. Oh, where to? Oh, no. I mean, if I play my cards right, 